Hello from BugEyeGuy.com. Today we're going to talk about cockpit covering, and this carpet kit is our design. We built a better mousetrap. We made a much better kit. We fixed a lot of the problems on the other kits that are out there. We made them much easier to install so you can take some shortcuts and cover these cross members and the footwells, the tunnel, and the rear deck, and also the trunk in carpet. And it's a beautiful finish, and it dampens the noise nicely, and we've got it in a bunch of custom colors, some shades of blue, and it's a very nice kit. But Bug Eyes never came with carpet, and it's become the sort of standard for restored cars to have a nice carpet set. But truthfully, the original Bug Eye was much more of a waterproof, much cruder, simpler interior, and it looked more like this. And we built this Hardora mat specifically because when we took our yellow Bug Eye to the concourse this year, and won a gold medal, carpet is a serious no-no. They take off a huge number of points if you have any carpet at all. And one nice thing is that since bug eyes do occasionally get wet, this carpet is very waterproof and it's Hardora matte, so it's a rubberized finish. And it is the closest thing you can find right now to the original rubber tunnel mat that was offered with these cars. You see, when a bug eye came from the factory, there was a rubber mat that started where this one does, it wrapped over this silver cross member and terminated right where that rubber mat ends at the bottom of your screen. It was a one piece molded thing that went over that silver cross member and they are not available. We wanted to make them but the molds were cost prohibitive. There was a matching tunnel piece that was rubber with a bunch of ribs and same problem. It's a very expensive thing to manufacture. So by making a Hardora mat we could unite all Hardora things in the car. We start in the back of the boot there with Hardora at the edge of the, the, you know, the boot floor, come up over the tunnel. We've got these uh, rear wheel arch pieces that you glue on and it laps down the bulkhead and then connects through the tunnel piece. And then here we've got Amco style rubber mats, which were kind of a period accessory. They they lay in there behind the cross member, they lay in in front of the cross member, and then by using these tin covers, you can also kind of blend everything together, again, without using any carpet of any kind. And then we added also a sill piece. Now that's actually exactly how the cars came with that little rubber strip on the outside. And surprisingly, there was no covering where the seat went on factory bug eyes. And that's what we have here. I've got a seat tray in place to hide the floor that sort of approximates what you get when you're all done with that outer that outer strip, strip out by the sill. So we now have two great options for you. Carpet if you prefer and you could care less about Concours or if you like more of the original flavor and want to get as close as you can to an original more rubberized bug eye interior we have this Hardora kit available that includes these tin covers and these rubber mats, the rubber strip at the sill, the Hardora tunnel piece, and, and also this Hardora trunk setup. So that way, if you want to do concours, we were able to attain gold level with this exact setup. It worked very well for us, and now it can work very well for you as well. And we have it at bugeyeguy.com.